Is this better? Better than? Better than that? Huh? Oh, fine.
हेलो
हेलो हेलो हाँ सर सुनिए सु सर सेल्वी बिगिन सर यस सर योर ऑडिबल सर यस इट इज ऑडिबल यस सर योर ऑडिबल Okay, can start. Sir, shall uh, we begin, sir? Yes. Okay, sir. Um, good morning, everyone. I'm. Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. Uh, good morning, Dr. Prakash, the principal of Burling College. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. 
Uh, am I audible? Okay, sir. Uh, yes, it is good audible. Morning, everyone. Yes, 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 sir. You are audible. I must say, you are audible, sir. Okay, sir. We'll begin now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chimmy Deka, Assistant Dr. Professor, Dr. Department of English, Dumduma College. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. It gives me immense pleasure uh, to extend, uh, extend yes, to you I'm a very sir. warm welcome. Yes, one minute, sir. There is some. Uh, okay, so we'll begin now. Audio problems. Sorry for the technical glitches. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chimmy Decker, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Dumduma College. It gives me immense pleasure to extend to you a very warm welcome on behalf of Internal Quality Assurance Cell, Dumduma College, who has organized today's national webinar on Meditation for Self-Empowerment, Leading Through Crisis in Association with District Legal Services Authority, Soraydeo. Before we get started, I would like to go over a few things. As we can accommodate only 100 number of participants in Zoom, we are also live streaming the webinar in YouTube. The YouTube link has on, already been shared in our webinar WhatsApp groups. During the course of the webinar, I request all participants to keep themselves in mute. Participants are requested to submit their questions in the chat box. We will address the questions at the end of the presentation. The participants will have the opportunity to submit the feedback form end of the webinar. The link is Zoom and YouTube chat boxes. Now, I would like to request Soikyo, sir, to deliver the welcome address. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Simi. Uh, uh, respected uh, principal sir, uh, respected our resource person, uh, respected uh, members of uh, IQAC, respected our colleagues of our college, and uh, respected participants. Uh, it, give, it gives me immense pleasure uh, to welcome all of you to this national webinar uh, organized by uh, IQAC Dumduma College. At first, I would like to uh, welcome our honorable uh, principal, sir, uh, Dr. Prakashuti Bhattakur, sir, to this webinar. I'd also like to welcome uh, today's resource person, Professor Venkates B.B., sir, uh, to this uh, webinar. I'd like to uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I'd also like to welcome all our uh, honorable IQS members and our colleagues of our college to this webinar. Uh, last but not the least, I would like to welcome all the all respected participants to this webinar. I hope, uh, being the co uh, coordinator of IQC, I hope that uh, Professor uh, Venkatesh Vivisar's presentation will be immensely helpful for us to overcome uh, the critical situations which is happening uh, because of this pandemic situation. Uh, I hope his presentation will definitely give us some insights on these issues. Once again, I would like to uh, welcome all of you to this webinar and hope that this webinar will be a fruitful and successful one. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Soikya, sir. Now I would like to request our honorable principal, Dr. Prakash Jyoti Bhattakur, sir, to deliver the inaugural address.
सर आपने म्यूट होया से वेरी गुड इज इट ऑडिबल यस यस सर यस ओके मेडिटेशन फॉर सेल्फ एम्पावरमेंट लीडिंग थ्रू क्राइसिस Which is being organized by Internet Quality Assurance Kumbhakarna uh, College in association with District Legal Services Authority, Sahaja District. Uh, I welcome you all to this uh, webinar, and the topic is very relevant during this pandemic, uh, pandemic situation, and we are talking about the importance of self-confidence. What is about the empowerment of confidence, which is nothing but the belief in yourself and your ability. Makes you feel good and perform better in at any activities. Whenever empowered or confident, you talk to one activity, you can do everything, you can play sports, music, other, you can do all the work, works in your life. And the meditation is the extremely efficient way. To build confidence or empower, make you empower. Empower. There are numerous health benefits. So. principal sir i think due to some technical glitches we have lost yeah, it is okay now oh uh, yes sir yes we, you are audible okay? sir yes sir and uh, when you are empowered or you are confident enough then you can talk to anyone about anything you can do everything you can play sports music and any any works in your life and the meditation is extremely efficient way to build confidence and makes you like your work on your body it improves digestion and many more so so network bitter network problems so anyway so so they are basically relevant to the present pandemic situation i request all of you friendly always do your best and then do we for so that this and we ask your hand or take your hand and get vaccinated it is course times it is you can prevent from the covid pandemic so with these few words i once again welcome professor venkatesh bb sir which is uh, with us from the bengaluru i i am college of bengaluru karnataka i once again welcome you all the fellow participants all the members and especially the resource person thank you so much sir thank you now i would like to request our assistant coordinator of iqsc mr mintu upadhyaya sir okay? yes sir uh, is it or is it due to network problems or yes yes sir so due with this few words i would like to i i hereby declare i hereby declare this uh, national webinar on meditation for self empowerment during through crisis is open we are very we have set 
and healthy and wish you all the best thank you very much over to simi hey. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would like to request our assistant coordinator, Mr. Mintu Padhaya, sir, to deliver the formal introduction of the resource person. Over to you, Mintu, sir. Thank you, Simi. Am I audible? Thank you, Simi. A very warm good morning to all. A respected principal of our college, Dr. Professor Tibor Thakur, sir. A respected vice principal of our college, Dr. Enjumani Sarma, ma'am. Honorable distinguished speaker invited to this webinar, Professor B.B. Venkates, coordinator of internal quality assurance cell, Dumduma College, Dr. Pranjit Saitya, my esteemed colleagues and respected participants. Now I would like to introduce Professor B.B. Venkates before you. Professor Venkates has a great personality and is a man for his spirit. He is popularly nicknamed as Rasavi Venkates. RA stands for Ramakrishna Paramhansa, SHA stands for Sarada Devi, VI stands for Swami Vivekananda, hence Rasa V. Professor Venkates did his master's in English from Bangalore University. He did his postgraduate diploma in yoga from Annamala University. He is teaching English since last couple of decades and practicing yoga activities since last three decades. A prolific speaker, having strong organizing capacity, he had so far convened one national and three international conferences. As he has been engaging himself in yoga activities for so long, he is a health consultant, fitness freak, and an adventure enthusiast. He is the proud owner of a rustic adventure club, Rasavi Woods, in Bengaluru. He is current working as a professor of English in IFIM Autonomous College, Bangalore. Sir, we are overwhelmed for having you as a distinguished speaker to speak out on this topic, meditation for self-empowerment leading through crisis. Hope the participants will immensely be benefited by your speech, sir. Thank you Thank for you. being here. Over to see me to proceed with further. Thank you agenda. so much, Mentor, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, without any further delay, now I request our resource person, Professor B.B. Venkates, sir, to begin with the presentation. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Professor Chimi. A very warm good morning to each one of you here. I thank the principal of Dumduma College, Dr. Prakash Jyoti Borthakur, the IQSE coordinator, Dr. Pranjit Saikya, IQSE assistant coordinator, Mr. Mintu Upadhyaya and Mr. Dr. Lokman Ali, and the lovely lady, Professor Chimi Deka, and all the others who are here to listen to this talk. I welcome each one of you. I thank each one of you. There is another reason for me to thank you people and also to congratulate you. I am into this field since three decades, three decades and very surprisingly, very surprisingly, this particular topic, I am talking, I am making a talk now after two decades. Can you believe this? This topic that is on meditation, of course, crisis will leave it there. We'll, we'll keep it aside for a moment. On meditation, I'm talking after two decades. Three decades during those three, third decade, earlier third decade, I have done more than 500 talks on meditation. At that point of time, people used to ask me for this topic. And the last two, two decades, nobody even talked about this topic that is meditation. I'm really surprised and I congratulate the students, the management of Assam for having chosen this particular subject, meditation, as well as I do have uh, another reason to congratulate the people of Assam, you people of Assam for having selected a particular people for power political power. Thank you very much. 
Well, let me get into the subject. Meditation for empowerment leading to crisis. Crisis. The present crisis we are talking now is about COVID-19. Is this crisis new? Yes, COVID is new. No doubt. COVID is new, but not the crisis. In the previous century, we have seen uh, Spanish flu, Asian flu, Hong Kong, malaria, plague as well. In this century, in the just in these two uh, decades, in this century, we have seen two crises like this. One is swine flu, other is COVID-19, which we are seeing now. We are passing through the phase now. Okay, so this kind of crisis is not anything new for us. In fact, when plague had a uh, play in the society, the whole villages used to be vacated and they used to go live in a forest, in the forest area where they could comfortably, to an extent, comfortably live. The whole village used to be vacated and it used to be left to get drained. All the bacteria, all the virus, whatever is there, it was allowed to get drained for days together. And then after some time, they used to slowly come back and start living their uh, normal life. And these people were very much aware of this kind of viruses. Okay. And they also knew the art of managing this kind of virus. How? Probably you will be surprised. Probably you'll be surprised when I say that they could manage this kind of virus only because of the fact that they knew what is meditation. Can you believe me? When I say this, I will be authenticating the whole the statement which I have made now in the next 30-40 minutes. I'll be justifying the statement. They knew meditation, that is the reason they could manage this kind of crisis. If they were not able to manage this kind of crisis, that civilization, our civilization, Indus Valley civilization would not have existed at all today. Like many other civilizations, we also would have been uh, evaporated from this earth. We would have vanished from this earth. It did not happen. In fact, it is the only continuous, uh, only civilization which is living continuously since ages. And it is only because of this art of meditation. What is this meditation then? Okay, meditation. Let's try to go from known to unknown. What do we know from there to what do we don't know? Okay, now let's just uh, visit few definitions of meditation given by some dictionaries. Okay, it's a practice of concentrated focus upon a sound object, visualization, the breath, movement, or attention itself in order to increase awareness of the present moment, reduce stress, promote relaxation, and enhance personal and spiritual growth. Some, some dictionary has defined, given this kind of a definition. Okay. In some other place, it is said that it is the act of giving your attention to only one thing either as a religious activity or as a way of becoming calm and relaxed. Okay, the English word meditation is derived from old French word meditation, meditation in turn from Latin meditatio from a verb meditari meaning, which means to think, contemplate, devise, ponder, etc to think, contemplate, devise, ponder, etc. Okay. This meditation can be defined as a set of techniques that are intended to encourage a heightened state of awareness and focused attention. Meditation is also a consciousness changing technique that has been shown to have a wide number of benefits on psychological well-being. While going through this kind of definitions, I see a lot of circus has happened to understand 
the concept called meditation okay by westerners all these dictionaries have the origin from western uh, land and uh, these westerners have done lot of circus in fact very seriously they have worked on it to understand what is meditation and given this kind of definition now we people who belong to this tradition are not ready to accept these uh, definitions why the reason is here okay one great person a himalayan master one of the greatest himalayan masters swami rama swami rama who stood for meditation yeah he says he says in his works meditation is a word that has come to be used loosely and inaccurately in the modern world please understand meditation is a word that has come to be used loosely and inaccurately in the modern world that is why there is so much of confusion about how to practice it there is so much of confusion about how to practice it some people use the word meditate some people use the word meditate when they mean thinking or contemplating thinking or contemplating others use it to refer to daydreaming or fantasizing fantasizing however meditation which is actually the equivalent for the word dhyana dhyana is the apt word which is used in our scriptures okay so however the meditation the word is not any of this this is told by swami rama when that is the case then what is meditation now at least let us get back to our own word dhyana okay they are trying to equate meditation with dhyana and now let us understand what exactly dhyana is okay i hope 90% of you will be youngsters young students and if there is an aversion for listening to understanding scriptures of our land today after 20 years i would not have spoken about the this subject i'm very happy for this yeah we will be visiting one of the scriptures which has defined dhyana okay and dhyana is not a separate chapter altogether please understand dhyana is not a separate chapter it is a subheading in a bigger chapter in a bigger chapter this is a subheading so dhyana is a part of one particular way of life dhyana is a part of one particular way of life that is what when i meant that is what i meant when i said uh, the our civilization could manage any kind of crisis because they had mastered this art of meditation that is dhyana that's what i meant by saying that okay so now let us understand one particular scripture which is called as ashtanga yoga ashtanga yoga which is originated by sage patanjali so it is called as patanjala patanjali ashtanga yoga so this ashtanga yoga in this ashtanga yoga there are eight steps ashta means eight anga steps parts what parts what are so in this eight steps one is dhyana clear one is dhyana so to reach there there are six different steps dhyana is the seventh step and the eighth one is samadhi samadhi normally we people we who are in this world we are busy working in this world need not much bother that is because in the final stage where one has to attain that state attain that state and they have to reach that we will not much bother about samadhi now we will end at dhyana so this ashtanga yoga eight parts of ashtanga yoga leading to meditation we are going to study now okay i just going to give a glimpse of it we will have a complete picture 
complete picture. We can never say, huh, this is the shape of moon. Correct? Moon, we can never shape, say this is the shape of moon because it keeps on changing. From different angle, it looks different. Some place it's crescent, some paper is full, some paper three-fourth. Correct? So that way, this dhyana is a part of Ashtanga Yoga, which we need to understand to arrive at dhyana. Okay? Now, Ashtanga Yoga, there are eight steps. First one is, first one is Yama. Yama. This is not the Yama who comes in a mythology on his buffalo with a uh, string kind of a thing to take away people. That's not the uh, concept here. It is. It has five subheadings. That is, it has five uh, characters. One is Ahimsa. Yama, Ahimsa. Under Yama comes Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha. If the words are from Sanskrit and if, we, if it is not so very uh, close to us to understand, don't worry, don't worry. I will manage everything. Ahimsa. Ahimsa is non-violence. We all know that. This is nothing is new here. Everything is so much imbibed in our society. Society that we are able to, we, we are equipped. Okay? So Ahimsa is non-violence. Second one is Satya, truthfulness. Third one, Asteya. Asteya is not, not getting into theft. Fourth one is Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya means celibacy. Celibacy. Yes, it means that if you're a boy, getting attracted to uh, a girl would be natural. You need to restrain yourself. If you're a girl, same thing with respect to your boy. Getting attracted to the opposite sex is one very natural thing which would happen. Okay, so till you finish what you what you're supposed to accomplish in life, if you get into this, it will derail you. It will derail you. So Brahmacharya is the fourth one, and then Aparigraha. Aparigraha is not wanting the things which belong to others. Aparigraha. Not wanting things which belong to others. Lack of greed. Not having greed. So these five stages comprises Yama. Okay. Then the next step is Niyama. Niyama. Yama. Niyama. Yama is uh, the word. The word is Sanyama. You would be very. Uh, you would be quite familiar with the word Samyam. Samyam. Sanyama. Sanyam. Correct? Samyam. Samyam is uh, having control over it. So that yama is the basic word having control. So having control over these things is the first stage, first step of getting to reaching to dhyana. Okay, first step. Second step is niyama. Niyama. First one is out of in this niyama, under this niyama, there are five things once again. First one is shaucha. Shaucha. Shaucha is cleanliness. Cleanliness with respect to body, purity with respect to mind. See, Shaucha. Santosha. Santosha is content, being happy. Be happy with what you have. It doesn't mean that you uh, should not uh, aim high. Not that way. But whatever you have, just be happy with it. And then aim at a higher, higher uh, goals. And then have higher goals. Third one is tapas. Tapas is self-discipline. Self-discipline. Fourth one, Vabhyaya. Vabhyaya means Vabhyaya. That is study. Vabhyaya, that is study. Fifth one, Vabhyaya. Ishu Pranidana is the devotion which we have towards the ultimate force. Whatever, whoever. Okay? Whatever it is. Whoever it is. It could be some god, some deity. It could be our own parents. It could be nature. It could be some force. Whatever you call it as. But that surrendering must be there. Okay. So now, with this Shaucha, Santosha, Tapas, Swadhyaya, we are we will be able to we will be able to empower ourselves against many negatives. 
many negatives let us now touch a bit about our the crisis which we are having now okay the instructions giving by, given by the instructions given by the medical associations doctors who world health operation whatever whoever it is the instruction given to us is be clean correct to fight the covid 19 virus we have to be clean we have to keep on washing our hands we should we should wear a mask like this okay we should wear a mask like this completely cover so that no dust enters no dust enters so we have to keep ourselves clean cleanliness and this cleanliness is found so many thousands of years ago shaucha i'm really surprised when these people talk about cleanliness they could have told us the doctors could have told us indian medical association iima could have told us follow the second uh, follow ashtanga yoga finish this is what we have done this is what the tribal people of this country in their language not in my language oh, come on we, we were most advanced more advanced than any of these people these people were in, were, were in caves and forests we were in uh, huge palaces in good houses in multi-story houses in harappa mahanjadaro uh, civilization we have houses there was a movie you know Rati Roshan's movie uh, the movie was mahanjadaro yeah that uh, when they visit that uh, area the comedian the companion of the hero tells oh ghar ke upar ghar. that's a concept during uh, harappa harappa mahanjadaro Correct. So we were very much advanced, but in their language, but in the Western language, we were tribals. Okay. So the IMEA, WHO should have told, follow Ashtanga Yoga. Ashtanga Yoga. That means follow Shaucha, follow Santosha, follow Tapas, self-discipline. See, be within the house. We are within the house. We are supposed to be within the house. We are not supposed to go out. And that, that is like putting into a cell. We, we can't take it. Enough of it. Two months of uh, self quarantining. Curfew. Janta curfew. Whatever curfew. What will curfew? Curfew is curfew. We were supposed to be inside and we were fed up. We just wanted to break over the gates and come out. Okay. So here, self discipline would help. Swadhyaya. Sit and study. Sit and study. Study what? Study anything. Whatever you study, you study. Whatever you have to study, study. And keep connected to God, to that ultimate force, Ishvara Pranidhana. Are you getting the point where this is, where this Ashtanga Yoga, where is Dhyana, how it is Dhyana connected to what we are supposed to do to empower ourselves during crisis? I hope you are getting it. I hope you are getting it. Yama, we have completed two points. One is Yama, and the other is Niyama. Yama has five stages Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha. See, there was a very unfortunate incident, and this unfortunate, this kind of incidents keep on happening happen in our society. That is rape. Raping a young girl, small child, young girl, even uh, old age women are raped in this country. If people continue to follow this Ashtanga Yoga, continue to follow this uh, Dhyana, Brahmacharya, so many robberies do happen. Asteya, no theft, no stealing. Correct? We tell so many lies. Satya, we uh, kill people. We kill people, we kill animals, we, we destroy nature, ahimsa, aparigraha, beyond all that, aparigraha, that is, I should not want, I should not feel, have the feeling of wanting somebody else's property, somebody else's money, I should not have the feeling, I should not have this feeling of uh, um, wanting somebody else's property, somebody else's money. 
correct so that way they have addressed each and everything which would lead to any kind of crisis forget virus correct so that way yama then niyama niyama is once again five things which i just told now shaucha santosha tapas swadhyaya ishwar pradhana okay so these are the two things which are internal which you are supposed to do with yourself inside you if imagine if everybody is following this everybody is following this what will covid 19 do to us how will it reach us tell me correct so that way our concept called dhyana can definitely help us with respect to managing empowering ourselves during crisis and next now let let's go to the next one next two are once again twins they are together okay one is asana third one is asana for this pranayama asana pranayama okay asana what is asana asana is nothing but the culturing of body for to sit in dhyana we need one posture no one strong posture we need in to sit in uh, uh, meditation in olden days in olden days the uh, the demons the rakshasas the demons used to uh, go to forest and they used to stand on one particular leg one leg the other one crossed and holding the hand like this okay that was vrikshasana vrikshasana in one posture they used to stand for long time in one posture they used to sit for long time okay so the body need to be cultured the body needs to be cultured to get into dhyana that is meditation okay so for that asana should be practiced and probably everybody will be knowing what is asana we have n number of asanas starting from surya namaskara surya namaskara itself has some number of asanas after that there are more number of asanas which will culture the body which will culture the body in fact i was affected by covid 19 i was hospitalized on july 24th i was hospitalized and i was uh, discharged on 26th of august i was in hospital for 32 days i was in hospital for 32 days and in icu for 21 days okay 82% of my lungs were infected and you know what what the doctors told me to do throughout the day you will not believe me they only did not use a particular word but they told me that they told me probably if they had known this ashtanga yoga asanas he would have told me the doctor would have told me the best surgeon in the country one of the best top 10 surgeons in the country i don't mind taking his name dr ravindra mehta from apollo hospitals told me to lie down in makarasana he only did not use the word makarasana i i was thrilled i i just looked at him I, he was instructing me to get to one particular posture okay i got into that posture he was using lot of words to direct me to that posture after all that after all that when the final posture came i once again looked at him but i was not uh, that much confident to talk at that point of time because my body was very weak i did not talk anyway but after everything i told him in fact he told me to lie down in so uh, you are not audible sir venkatesh sir okay okay now and now you are audible oh i missed it okay okay hmm shall i continue yes sir yeah, fine thank you uh hi hello there was a, a disconnection i think some technical hitch anyway so the the doctor told me to lie down in makarasana that is the important of as importance of asanas 
okay and they told me to blow something to blow to, when, when there was one uh, uh, i wish i had showed you here come on check i could have just brought it one uh, uh, one play item a toy which children use and they blow it if they blow it the ball should go three balls were there in a cylindrical kind of a thing and when we blow it the one ball rises first and when we deepen the blow second one when we strengthen the blow the third one so that determines the uh, inner capacity of breath that is nothing but kapala bhati pranayama kapala bhati okay so like this there are so many things which are just inside this asana and pranayama which would help us to reach to dhyana to dhyana am i right uh, am i clear okay so with this we shall go further so asanas that is the culturing of the body pranayama is pranayama means regulating the breath regulating the breath my lungs were infected my lungs were infected and they used to say that if immunity was high it would not have happened immunity comes down because of all this adulteration because of non exercises in our urban uh, lifestyle we have invited all the unwanted elements to trouble us to reduce our immunity so we have done that so we are suffering to empower ourselves what we are supposed to do we are supposed to do asana we are supposed to do pranayama we are supposed to follow uh, uh, yama we are supposed to follow niyama okay so pranayama is nothing but regulating the breath and this asana and pranayama is something to do with body and breath but dhyana is something to do with mind correct we all know that we all know that so without doing these things if we get into dhyana nothing will work okay nothing will work without doing these things if we get into dhyana now let's see what it is how is it connected how is this asana that is the body related exercise pranayama the breath related exercise connected to mind dhyana dhyana which needs the work of the involvement of mind let's see how it is connected okay now we will take two things one is fever we all know what is fever fever comes to mind or body fever comes to body okay so the doctor comes first checks the body checks the body he he takes the pulse he takes the temperature isn't it he looks at this eyes so like this he goes so fever comes to body and mind becomes dull as a result mind becomes dull what is the problem for mind to remain lively even with fever what is the problem correct but it will not it will not it will get connected and the mind the liveliness will come down looking at the face people can tell oh aren't you well first thing they they, they look at you when you have a sad face they ask you aren't you well that means your body is not well correct so that way fever proves that body is connected to mind and there is another thing that is anger there is another example which i am using anger anger comes to body or mind anger comes to mind you somebody scolds you and you become angry okay that is just a word that's just a word which comes you hear and you become angry and the moment you become angry there is a chain reaction in the body correct heart beat uh, accelerates the blood circulation accelerates bones get stiff isn't it so this proves that if mind is affected with anger the body automatically will respond okay so fever and anger there was one great actor of course he is uh, he even even now present mr amitabh bachchan Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. Who doesn't know Amitabh Bachchan? Tell me. Okay. In uh, uh, twenty thirty years ago, thirty years ago, 
he, he was titled as he was titled as angry young man all his movies used to be filled with anger uh, he was angry against the system etc etc okay he used to fight he used to scold he used to do every other thing to display his anger okay he used to be he used to be called as angry young man i have seen people while coming out of the movie you know they used to hold their uh, fist like this a bit tight and used to walk the walking thing had changed that much of influence had happened on their mind that it was shown on the body so it is very clear that mind and body they are connected to each other okay that is about asana and pranayama now this pranayama will help us to regulate to calm down the mind that is the connection okay asana pranayama connected to mind so now this breath we use this breath we use this breath to calm down the mind on one side and calm down the relax the body on the other side okay so when we do pranayama we will be hand we will be preparing the mind on one side we will be preparing the body connecting the body on the other side so this way lot of ailments also come down all over uh, uh, ailments like high bp high bp heart problems so all those things can be rectified can be rectified or it can be avoided through pranayama through pranayama so now the next one is that is pratyahara we are so we are getting towards getting close to dhyana please remember please remember when we go into each uh, heading there we should not get lost we should we are connecting ourselves to dhyana okay so asana over pranayama over yama over niyama over then comes pratyahara pratyahara now we have started dealing with the mind directly okay now we are ready to deal with the mind directly this is all this what we have done is a warming up is a warming up so once with this warming up we are attacking now the mind that is pratyahara so what is pratyahara ahara we know ahara that is food pratyahara is opposite of having food that is not giving food not giving food what happens uh so any student any person any student okay any individual is sitting there are sitting silently silent silently sitting calmly sitting happily but the mind the traffic in the mind will be in hundreds hundreds of thoughts keep rushing correct hundreds of thoughts sometimes thousands of thoughts keep rushing and going through okay so this hundreds of thoughts will not allow the mind to rest to mind to relax what is mind now we have to understand what is mind there is no other go mind is nothing but a chain of thoughts if there are no thoughts if there are no thoughts where is the mind there is no mind at all no mind is nothing but a thoughts who feeds the thoughts we only we are the people udaret atmanatman okay we are the people who can actually elevate ourselves we are the people who are the enemies of ourselves okay who feeds the thought we people feed the thought okay for example what happens you are walking on the road you are walking on the road there is somebody you look up and you see somebody that person looks at you okay it looks like that person stared at you then a thought comes to your mind hey why did this guy stare at me why did this guy stare at me first one first one second one immediately what did i do third point do i know him fourth one no i don't know him fifth thought is he following me fifth thought sixth one there was one day there was a similar guy was standing there 
that day was he uh, was the first day when he was following me and today he is continued following me so like the see 5 6 7 8 9 10 it went on and in no time this goes in huge numbers okay and the moment you get into this multiple thoughts then it will not be called as thoughts it will be called as emotion thoughts get converted into emotion when the traffic goes high you get stuck with that thought even when you are sitting at home you close your eyes first thing bug that face comes that guy who was there standing there it comes to your mind are see it disturbs you that becomes a emotion in your class you are sitting in your class you are looking at the professor the professor is starting the lesson yeah you look at him and the board there at once that guy comes you are caught under that particular emotion one thought became 2 3 4 5 10 20 and even more and by then it had become emotion this is something which is which you don't like something which you don't like okay let's go to the next one next two, two three steps you uh, you have it you have uh, uh, taken two three steps and then you look up there is one poster some film poster rati kroshan is standing there okay wow what a man yeah first thought what a man ha, how i wish i was him i was like him how i wish i was he what a dancer he is he is the uh, michael jackson of our country ha, in that movie he had such a dance such a great dance this movie he did this that one he was not so very good but anyway it was okay yeah and then ah i remember the first movie kauna pyar hai correct so like this it goes on see already i counted 10 or uh, 9 so rithik roshan and it goes on 1 2 3 4 5 9 it went and it will go on in fact in fact okay the thoughts which you like they are called as raga which becomes emotion is called as raga in the scriptural language and the other one the thoughts which you hate the thoughts which you scare you will become will be called as dvesha raga dvesha so we have to balance between this raga and dvesha somehow and we have to go with minimum number of thoughts traffic is not appreciated anywhere no nobody enjoys traffic who will enjoy traffic you tell me correct so now in fact now when when this curfew is going on you know when we travel on roads you know we actually enjoy roads uh, driving we enjoy driving because we are less in number so when there are less number of thoughts a person who is hosting them will be happy so we are supposed to reduce those thoughts how to reduce these thoughts there is an art first one let me take the stranger you look at him he looked at you and you feel that he stared at you immediately second thought third thought before the second thought comes you have to tell the mind okay that guy looked at me okay did he stare at me even that is okay let him trouble me then i will take care finish there is no second no third no fourth no fifth no tenth no twentieth gone okay now rithik roshan then rithik roshan comes ha what a man stop there stop there okay it's over it's over so you have to disconnect you have to break the chain of thoughts otherwise it will become emotion same thing will happen when you think about a person of opposite sex if it's a boy or a girl first thought is ha so nice he is see dhyana can give solutions can empower you in this kind of crisis also many would have fallen into that kind of crisis that is i like this person and slowly that liking becomes more i double like this person i triple like this person some point of time it just the number of likes will multi get multiplied and liking will become love there's no harm in it i'm not against it come on huh? i'm very clear about it i'm not against it if 
we don't promote love what about the uh, world what about the civilization we have to continue our generations have to continue there is no doubt about it okay but my point is my point is these thoughts should not become emotions to trouble you that's all is my point okay so what happens so this particular uh, feeling for a person liking becomes love if it is successful that's fine unfortunately every love doesn't succeed then what happens the person boils inside the boy the person feels bad inside yeah he or she gets into depression it goes on like that no we have seen n number of cases like this we feel very bad we feel very bad how is that our our children are not able to understand these things i'm so happy once again that your college has selected this topic this topic amongst all those six to seven topics which i had given i'm so happy for that i really congratulate i really thank your uh, uh, management the principal ipsc coordinator all of them i really thank them for for having taken up this particular topic for discussion so a, a, a boy who likes a girl or a girl who likes a boy yeah so this liking becomes love if it succeeds that's fine but if it doesn't then it goes wrong it becomes emotion and then it things will start affecting the person so this is pratyahara pratyahara that is we have to break the chain of thoughts break the chain of thoughts how do we do it we have to break the thoughts and reduce the uh, traffic okay so this is pratyahara next comes dharana dharana what is dharana dharana is nothing but focusing focusing attention there are two ways of doing this uh, dharana dharana is focus one thing your exams your exams that's all nothing else sachin tendulkar had cricket in his mind he focused himself towards cricket he did not have any, any other things did he deny anything in this world is he denied anything from this world no he got everything from this world but he focused on one thing correct so you have to select your uh, goal and you focus on that that is trataka how do you do that trataka is a very simple process for dharana i am using there are many there are few rather there are few i am using trataka to explain what is dharana how to gain dharana for example there is one you keep one candle you keep one candle here or a deepa deepa okay with the flame with the lit, having a, having it lit you are looking at it it should be some 3 feet from your distance and it should be at your eye level eye level no should not down it should not be more up it should be at the eye level and you start focusing and there is only one thing that is the flame the flame has a color a flame has a shape the flame has a brightness keep on looking at it normal habit is once we start looking at something eyes will be looking there mind would have gone somewhere it would have gone to that rithik roshan or it could a stranger or the person whom we love or who would be falling in love okay so why in this one manga manga means monkey drunken monkey sometimes mind is like a monkey sometimes like a drunken monkey so we are training the mind to be with one particular uh, concept that is the flame here that is trataka trataka so you stay with it stay with it you are there yes i am there i am here it's flame yes i am seeing the flame you keep on telling it you you should you should not only see you should also keep on telling it that you are suppose you are seeing this flame yes you are with this flame yes i am with this flame yes now yes i am seeing the flame i'm so see there's only one thought 
there is no reminder of your parents there is no reminder of your house there is no reminder of your bike there is no reminder of your mountains behind you there is nothing in this world only this flame so you are living for few moments with the flame that is dharana one thing only one thing only one thing as you are saying it the eyes start uh, flickering correct tell the eyes tell the eyes see and i want to be with this flame for some time this has to be done in the early morning or in the evening best best time or even uh, darkness is also fine but that because that uh, flame will be very bright quite bright quite bright it should be 3 feet away as i told you so that it doesn't harm the eyes and if it is the oil the the, the, the right kind of oil the castor oil or your uh, local whichever oil okay that will help the health of the eyes also so that comp that much comprehensive it is okay so you are looking at it and you are staying with that flame for some time okay so this is dharana and then you tell your eyes that look i want to be with this flame for some time please cooperate please cooperate you keep on telling it you keep on telling it that reminds me of vipassana meditation vipassana meditation which lord buddha bhagwan buddha practiced under that tree under the tree in bodh gaya yeah he uh, sat under the tree closed his eyes and after some time opened his eyes and told the world i am enlightened correct so what he did after closing eyes is the vipassana meditation i am reminded of all the principles of that meditation anicca anicca when i when i talk this this trataka so this eyes is telling something to do what it is telling eyes is telling to close you tell the eyes to bear how much ever possible how much ever don't force don't overdo anything how much ever possible we keep on looking at it and then it becomes blur because of the tears tears okay so mentally the withstanding capacity increases and physically the eyes get clean the nerves inside becomes stronger okay so then at some point of time you can close your eyes just like this and remove the water completely one go remove it and once again continue saying it after some time after some time some time means how much time for some people 2 minutes 3 minutes 5 minutes even if some some for, for some people even 10 minutes after all that you close eyes and you will be able to see that flame even after closing eyes okay even after closing the eyes you will be able to see that flame and slowly gradually that flame vanishes and the entire thing is dark clear no traffic no mental traffic at all completely stopped it happens it happens for anybody and everybody anybody from uh, for example from 8 years to 80th year anybody practices this it will become an uh, will, will become an experience okay so that few moments even that flame vanishes and everything is clear and for those few moments dhyana meditation happens you need not do anything to do meditation you need not do anything to do dhyana meditation should happen by itself you only prepare the whole stage and finally keep it to that level where meditation should happen by itself this is meditation meditation is like love pyar pyar ho jata hai correct love should happen by itself so it is like love you need not do anything you just be there love will automatically happen correct once you fall in love you not be able to uh, uh, restrain yourself from that that is the strength of love same thing is the strength of dhyana dhyana if each and everybody 
is able to reach this stage reach this stage remember yama remember niyama remember uh, asana pranayama pratyahara dharana and then this stage every day 20 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes the whole system the whole system the whole constitution the body constitution constitution is your body mind soul anything if there is anything else also put together body means uh, a conglomerate of all systems everything put together okay so everything will be ready and bright rejuvenated and empowered to be precise empowered to handle anything any types of crisis and covid is one such covid is one such the solutions for today's covid directly comes from meditation that is these aspects when you split across you you can say this is not meditation that is not meditation no every time you sanitize your hand you wash your hand that is meditation a part of meditation am i clear this is what is my message so with this meditation each and everybody can empower themselves through any crisis covid 19 is only a physical crisis is only a physical crisis so any kind of mental crisis also can be handled can be handled through meditation so meditation is one basic uh, solution for all the problems in this world you take up any problem you analyze the problem it will get connected to meditation it will get connected to meditation no doubt okay so this is the uh, crux of what exactly i was supposed to tell and i would want to spend some time with question answers so that i can understand what exactly is going on through your mind correct only then i will be able to do some justice to all the talk which i gave now so over to professor chimi for question answers uh, thank you so much sir it was a great speech and i hope all our participants they have enjoyed thoroughly and yes, sir, we can see so many comments oh, and also questions. I yeah, I have questions from Dr. Mantos Day. And sir has asked that question to you. Sir, in this crisis situation of pandemic, how should we control our emotions through meditation in confronting very plaintive situation before our eyes? How to control emotions in this pandemic situation through meditation? That is the question from Mantos Day, sir. Yeah. So, uh, just you have to visit the points which I'm talking, which I just finished now. If you are able to meditate, that is all the process, the complete process which I just spoke now, which I just spoke now, the complete process. If everybody is able to spend some time 15 20 minutes every day with these things with these practices with these practices this is a complete capsule there is no particular this one that one in fact you know um, uh, when, when we talk about uh, as a health consultant when i talk about you know, some people say that i have this problem i have that problem which asana i should do which asana i should not do all those things will be talking okay and they would have learned somewhere that through trikonasana, some kidney problem will be solved. They come and ask me, can I do kidney, the trikonasana for kidney problem? I say, you can do, but it will be of no use. You can do, but it will be of no use. And technically, yes, it will be of use. When? When you warm up. Complete warm up. Starting from Surya Namaskara, if you do those things, and then come to the level where the body is ready to respond to uh, through sorry through trikonasana then it will act on your kidneys and rejuvenate it okay so if that warming up doesn't happen this only thing doesn't happen that doesn't work it is not like english medicine where you take one capsule and uh, you take one tablet and you are relieved of that particular pain 
it's not like that it's not like it's such a comprehensive wholesome method of approach so one has to cool down with these things so one more questions would you like to take definitely ma'am yeah so there is uh, from one participant so you wonderfully connected i wanted to know what best can we do for the little kids who do not even understand the concept of meditation in such a time of crisis where we find them struggling every other day to a kind of adjustment with lots of deprivations Hello. meditation for kids excuse me you are asking the problem which i have in my house with my daughter <laughs> with my daughter this is a universal problem this is a universal problem but anyway see we will do one thing uh thanks to technology we are connected we are connected to all the participants here it is uh, if they are not able to do dhyana no problem if they are not able to do dharana no problem if they are not able to do pratyahara no problem the yama and niyama if they are able to follow the yama and niyama what is that yama and niyama the notes is very much there it will be shared in all the groups soon after this program we will be sharing the notes the the details of all the yama and niyama which we talked in the talked in the beginning so we will be sharing that in all the news see that they follow all that they try to see that you imbibe these qualities non violence truthfulness no theft astiya brahmacharya aparigraha shaucha santosha tapas swadhyaya ishwar pranidana these things if if a parent is able to imbibe it in children automatically there is an ambience which is created so you can talk about it you can make them talk about it you can highlight it yes now let's go for dhyana and we go wash hands and come back See, these are our problems no as per crisis is concerned present is crisis is concerned this is our problem so we will create an environment where this is time for sanitizing washing hands instead of using the word sanitizing washing hands we will say we should do dhyana and go wash hands and come correct so that way we can create an ambience in the house it is like give and take i understand so one hour of uh, usage of phone i give my daughter and ask for 5 minutes of her time with me okay so it is the problem of every parent i understand it's a problem of every parent so this is the way amicable way we have to work on getting it done thank you hmm. so one more question yes from satish kumar sir what about mudras mudras see this meditation itself was a very vague topic for the youngsters for the youngsters they have to prepare the whole system to respond to asanas to pranayama to pratyahara mudra is a specialized course after having oriented ourselves inclined ourselves into what i have spoken today for a number of years will make us sensitive to mudras you got the point one has to get sensitive to mudras it is very we are living in a very crude existence our existence is quite crude so this particular mudra chin mudra or chinmaya mudra or adi mudra whatever mudra we are holding this is a everyday business but if it has to act upon that particular organ that particular aspect of mind if any mudra has to work on that particular organ or that aspect of mind what has to get sensitive what has to get sensitive or only then it will start working so if we practice this automatically automatically one will get uh, inclined towards it in fact sri ramakrishna paramahamsa hold one mudra held one mudra like this and even today it is quite famous correct so this mudra automatically came he did not even uh, 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 held it like this today we are we are holding it like this because of our uh, uh, influence of our uh, superstar rajnikanth who displayed it with with so much of uh, uh, pride uh, in uh, the movie baba 
Okay, today we are doing it. But that day, when Sriram Kishamparamsa did that, it was it came naturally. So one has to get completely indulged in it. Then these things will reveal by itself, in fact. Okay. Hmm. Sir, would you like to take one last question? Yes. Uh, so this is a direct question to me actually in the chat box. And our participant would like to know something about Pratyahara. 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 Yes. Pratyahara is not giving ahara. Okay. Oh. Not giving ahara. What will happen if we don't give ahara to our body? Simple, very simple. Simple logic. Okay. What will happen? For example, I stop eating today, this moment at 12.15 in the morning, I stop the eating. Okay, what happened? Next moment, will I die? Oh, the, 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 the other person no, who was asked the question, so you did not respond. No problem. So the person, nobody will die. Next moment, nobody will die. Three hours, six hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, we start feeling a bit weak. Okay, 24 hours. We will not be able to stand. We will not be able to stand. We will not be able to serve. We will not be able to do our normal work after 24 hours. And then we feel like falling down. We will fall down, in fact. Some, some twice or thrice we may fall down also. Okay. And after 48 hours, we will be forced to uh, admit it to your hospital. Still, we will not die. Correct. And then Still, if we don't take food in any form, it can be even through the veins. Okay, in any form, we don't take food. Third day, after 72 hours, we will totally things will go wrong. Okay, and then die on some particular point of time, depending on our own strength. Okay, now the point which I'm trying to put across here is the moment you stop feeding your mind, pratyahara, pratyahara. The moment you stop feeding your mind, what happens is your mind wants, mind is craving for food, craving for thoughts. Okay, it doesn't get. So it, it, it feels vacant. It feels vacant. It wants food. Then what you do is you do, you have stopped and it will start taking from the thoughts which is already in the system. Mind needs food to survive. Mind needs food to survive. So it will take the thoughts which is already inside. For example, you are sitting for, uh, you have closed your eyes. Closed your eyes and you have blocked all the thoughts, all the windows for thoughts to come in. If you open eyes, you see, ha, ah, this is nice. Oh, that is nice. This is not nice. Last time I had seen here, this was not. So this is the way it looks into the world. If you close eyes, if you close eyes, Everything is blocked, but deep inside, it will come out. Whatever has touched your heart in, in the past will first come to your mind. Okay. So that way it comes up with a lot of force. It comes up and you have to tell, okay, okay, relax. You let go. Okay. It happened. You let go. Yes, it happened. Something comes, something else comes. That person scolded me. This person scolded me. I hate his face. See, so these thoughts will come. So if, if you do Pratyahara, when you are doing Pratyahara, that is, you are not giving thought, food to the thoughts there. Second thought, third thought, you are disconnecting. So that way what happens, that becomes frail and automatically fall down, die off. Like a bubble which is inside the water, it has a definite shape. That's the definite shape and the size. Once it comes to the surface, it blows up and evaporates. So like that, these thoughts, do come to the surface and bluff. So that way, pranaya pratyahara will work. Over to Chibi. Thank you so much, sir. Indeed, the session was really, really, really interesting. Of course, we cannot deny the importance of meditation in our day to day life in this pandemic situation. And um, now we are going for the end of this session and um, I will deliver the vote of thanks. Okay. Yes, sir.
for joining us and giving tips on the meditation. So, and it was a very nice one. Thank you once again. Okay, you want to see me? So you can know about the next. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Gratitude is one of the least articulate of the emotions, especially when it is deep. Good afternoon, everyone. So we have reached this end of the beautiful session. Today, I, Jimmy Decker, take the opportunity to put my gratitude into words. First of all, I would like to thank Almighty God for making today's webinar a great success. On behalf of the internal quality assurance cell, I like to extend my hearty respected resource person, Professor Vivi Venkates. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. For enlightening us with your inspiring and motivating session. Wholeheartedly, I must thank our principal, Dr. Prakazoti Bordhakur, sir for his support and guidance for organizing the webinar. We are thankful Madam, Secretary of District Legal Services Authority, Soraydeo, for their collaboration in today's webinar. My sincere gratitude and heart director of IQSC, Dr. Pranjit Soikya, sir, and the entire organizing team of IQAC for their hard work and tireless effort to make this webinar successful. Thank you to the participants for being with us today. Thank you all. Have a good day. Thank you. And feedback link has been shared in the chat box of Zoom and group. receiving the certificate in your WhatsApp groups. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. After filling the feedback form, participants may leave. Thank you. <laughs>